Tonight, we're going to look at how you can get a free QuickServe Online account. If you have a Cummins engine or generator, uh, you should have one of these. I don't know how long they're going to offer this, so you might want to just grab it. You'll need an engine number or a generator number to sign up. Uh, you go to store.cummins.com. On the right, you click Online Registration. And then you'll see on the left, it says Quick Serve Online Free Subscription. You add it, you're going to add, click on that. You're going to add it to your cart. In the center there, it tells a little bit about what you're going to be getting. Again, the pricing is zero. I just clicked on Go to Cart. And I'm going to check out. I do not have an account. You do not need an account. Look at order summary up on the top right. It's zero dollars and zero cents. Now, I have to fill out this long form. I'm going to do it, but of course, I'm going to put a cover over this so you can't see what I'm filling in. But fill this out accurately. There's nothing that you need to hide from or anything else. It does ask for your email, your phone, and your username. Part of the reason is if you ever get locked out of your account, they may call you. They're going to need your phone number. They will email you. They will also use the email you put in here as your username in the account. So if your email is tom at gmail.com, your username is going to be tom at gmail.com when you go to log in. Now, when you log into a QuickServe account, you've got a login you put in, then you click next. It'll ask you for the password. You put that in, and then you're at the main page of the account, and we'll get there in a minute. So first name, last name, you have to put something for the company name. Uh, so if you don't have a company, just put your first and last name in there, and they should accept that. And then country, uh, I don't know if this works outside of North America, which is Canada and the United States, Alaska, I don't think at this time you can get a free account outside of North America and Alaska, of course, but I'm, I'm not positive on that. Uh, so then your address, city, state, zip code, or up in Canada, they have a little something different than a zip code. Just put that in. And then uh, your email, and it asks you for your username, which is going to be your email, okay? So don't let that confuse you. And then at the bottom there, you've got to check that little box that says I've read and agreed to the Cummins Terms of Use and Privacy Policy. And there's nothing in there you need to be afraid of. You can go ahead and click that and choose Next and move on. Again, double check your order total. It should be $0.00. They do not charge you for this. If you fill something out wrong, you'll see that little funky circle when you go to click next. So I had filled something out wrong purposely so that you would see that happen. Uh, I'm fixing it right now. On the bottom, you see where it says we use cookies on the site to enhance your experience. You can click that X. That'll go away. It may come back every time you log in. Just make it go away. Here you look at your shipping cost at zero. Click next. It's telling you what region you're in also, but you don't need to know that. Order confirmation, you're going to click complete. You're going to tell it you're not a robot. And then complete transaction. Always double check your price. It should be 0.0 because .0, this is a free account. And now we're waiting for the internet. And that page will close. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to check our email. And lo and behold, there's an email from Cummins. And uh, dear Tom Jones, I think he was that singer from the 60s. Once you click the link in the email, it's going to take you here to your challenge questions. Write down the question on paper or in a notebook and write down the answer exactly as you do it. Because this is an automated recovery system and they will tell you to use this to recover your account if you mess your password up, forget it, whatever. And if you can't do this, it's very difficult to get the account unlocked. 
So make your life easy. Write it down. Where I work, this is what we use all the time, and I have people, they get locked out, and I go, I told you to write that information down, did you? Well, no, I didn't. So then, pretty much, it takes a couple weeks for them to get their account unlocked, and sometimes they even have to have another account made. And Cummins has done that because they want to make this an automated process so they don't have to deal with it. So I'll say it again. Write down the challenge questions and the answers exactly as you put them in. I guarantee at least once you'll need them. Put your password in, follow the rules there, click change password. If it's successful, if the password they accepted it, that's what you'll see. Close the window. They always tell you to close windows when you log out uh, for a security reason, whatever. Now you're going to open a window and you're going to, you're going to go to quickserve.cummins.com. So you can search for it or you can just type in quickserve, period, Cummins, period, C-O-M, hit enter. Here's where you're at. You're going to click enter site. It already knows who you are. Um, in this case, you're going to click yes, I accept the agreement. If you click no, your account is terminated immediately. Once you click, there'll be a blank here. It says enter your engine serial number. Put the engine serial number or the generator set number in there to get started. Once you put it in, this site is looking at that engine. It's going to pull parts for that engine, service information for that engine. The red toolbar on the left is where you have links to get to major places in the uh, site. Um, you can change your password down under my applications uh, uh, training you can you can see what they've got for training available if you want that see where it says change password up on top there under my applications there's a service locator compass is for ordering for dealers I doubt that'll work for you it'll just go to a page not found now now that your engine numbers in and by the way you can put five engine numbers in here but once you put them in you can never change them because you only get five for free. So we're, we're looking at that first engine number, 79535230. The site is focused on that. And I clicked on the little service tab up there in the red bar. And now we're on a campaign tab, the manuals tab. And the blue are links underneath. You can spend the rest of your life reading information on here. There is millions and millions of pieces of information. So this is fault code search. We can put in your fault codes, click analyze. It'll tell you which one to troubleshoot first. That's a really nice tool. Here is the fault code module, which came from a link, the troubleshooting manual. I put in 559, low fuel pressure. There's the links. There's your header page, tells you about the fault. It'll take you to the troubleshooting steps on the bottom left there. This is where you get all that great information, guys. I don't know how long this is still going to be available. As time marches on, things change. I would recommend that you go and grab yourself an account while they're free, while they're available. Uh, I think once you're in there, I don't think they would take it away, but there may come a day when they don't do that because... Like everybody else, they're going to more and more automated systems on their equipment where the equipment actually will contact via phone service, via cell service, it'll contact Cummins or, or if you drive for a fleet, it'll contact the fleet manager and they'll take care of all this. Uh, if you're an owner operator, you may not be able to get into this. I don't know. So, so. Get it while the getting's good, and you can go in and you can print stuff out of here. I would, I personally would print the part numbers for the for my engine for things that I might be changing myself or whatever. When you're done, you log out. Uh, home is where you'd log back in, and you have to put your login there, which would be your email. And then if you click click submit, if it accepts it, it'll say password. You type that in, click submit, and then you're back in the site. Thanks for joining me. 
There's another site that we'll talk about uh, in the near future, and that is called parts.cummins.com. In September, which is next month, September of 2022, Cummins is going to turn off the parts system in the QuickServe account you just saw how to get access to. And all those parts are going to be moved to parts.cummins.com. And you can use the same login that you'll get here in that site. And you just type your engine number in in that site. And it will find all the parts for your engine and after treatment system uh, to a point on the after treatment, but for the engine. And uh, so you'll be able to access parts here for about another, maybe another three, four weeks, and that's it. And uh, you saw where I clicked on a little service tab, that little thin red bar up there. You got parts service. Uh, there's other bars I have at work that you don't see, but there's pr I think the promotions and news is what you see on the free one. So those are your, kind of your main link to the main sections. Once you get in the main section, you'll use the tabs to go to subsections. And then anything that's blue underneath a tab is a, is a hot link that'll take you either to another page or a, a PDF document will open up, something like that. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you soon.